Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Now in today's video I thought I'd actually do a top 5 for once because I have n like literally not touched the top 5 genre since 2014 I'd like to say? 2014, 2015? Because it's not my kind of content. But I thought, you know what, I do Destiny content now. There are things I wish was in the game, there's things I've heard that I wish was in the game and there's some things that I've heard that they would be cool if they were in the game, but ultimately they probably shouldn't, which is obviously the whole topic of this video. Things that could be in the game, but shouldn't be in the game. Now, just to let you know, like, obviously I'm gonna, like, say stuff that's gonna annoy a few people. It's like, oh, how could you not want this? Well, you know, just listen in to my opinion, hear me out a bit, and obviously if then, if you still think it's bold, then, you know, call me out for it, that's cool. But anyway, I don't really have any uh, order to all of these. I just wrote down five things. So let's start off firstly with Guardian Quarters. Now, if you've been playing Destiny for a while, and obviously Destiny 2 has continued to uh, go past its three year limit, which again, originally at one point there was maybe Destiny 3 and so on and so forth until Activision's But basically, Guardian Quarters has been a kind of like fan thing to have in the game where literally you would drop into, let's say, like the tower or something. And you could just enter this room and it'd be like your guardian's like room and you could decorate it with like, with like weapons and all that sort of stuff. As cool as something like that would be and as like there's probably a good bit of room in the tower to actually just put like a room there. I don't think Bungie should actually do it. Now obviously if for whatever reason we need like quarters to do certain things or make maybe to pick up certain quest items or something maybe they could introduce it like one season just like they did with the helm and just keep it in the game you know but if they don't really need to do it i don't think they need to go out of the way to actually well go ahead and do it but again the concept is really cool it's just i feel like the amount of time resources and the thoughts that would go into like it's not only just building a new little area in the tower like that's that's literally easy that is so simple for bungie to do it's just the fact of what do you do in this room and how you decorate it is probably what would take up most of the development time. If I were to guess anyway, by the way, I just, I wanted to say I don't work with Bungie. I don't uh, do any game development or any of that stuff, so I don't know how any of this would work. I'm just going off assumptions and what other people have said in the past, so yeah. Again, call me out for it if you want. We'll have a little chat about it in the comments. But anyway, the next thing I thought I'd write down, because I was literally just watching Myelin Games play uh, Halo 2, and that is dual wielding. Now, overall, if it was just, like, one exclusive, like, exotic that was, it's like, oh, you have to dual wield this weapon. Cool, that's deadly, you know? But it would feel weird to add an exotic with the dual wield system and not have that expand to other things. And again, for something like this, it does depend on how far or how much they'd use the system as well. If they made it for one exotic, it's kind of, you know, you'd, you'd have to think they'd start spreading it to other weapons. Like, maybe you can have, like, double SMGs and all that sort of stuff. The system could start getting more complex if you start introducing the possibility of wielding a primary and a secondary at the same time. And what I mean by that is, like, a, a kinetic and an energy weapon at the same time. Let's just say that. But I think that would be kind of cool. Again, it'd be a cool thing to do. Like, imagine, like... You want to shoot the shield off someone and you have a powerful kinetic in your other hand and you want to finish them off with that. But obviously the trade-off would be like you can't, I don't know, throw a grenade. Maybe you can't melee properly or you have to put your other weapon away before doing any of that. Which again, I would understand all that. But again, it just comes down to like, would Bungie really benefit from doing something like this? Now, another argument that you could make about it is that Bungie haven't actually added a new weapon archetype. Well, I think they have actually. I just can't remember off the top of my head. But not one that's like taken up like all rarity slots like a bow for example has and obviously in season of the chosen we got like blue bows and machine guns and stuff but there hasn't been an actual new weapon type i don't think unless you count the swords but there's part of the swords uh, architect and all that sort of stuff and so on and so forth if they said you know what we're gonna add the ability to dual wield uh not currently uh, in-game weapons but for like for example like uh, secondary you can have like two pistols or something like that you know and if they did do akimbo uh, style stuff they'd make the system and then obviously they'd have to keep on top of it and add at least one exotic that's akimbo then a few legendaries maybe and a few blues maybe even one blue because i think there's only like one blue bow in the game again comparing it to how they ha like handled adding other weapons into the game the next thing uh, this one is actually kind of, I feel like it's a 50-50, I don't know why, it's just a good feeling. But having Elixni Guardians, understand 
having Elixni Guardians wouldn't only just be like, oh, just copy and paste from the Elixni model and boom. Like, Bungie would have to do a ridiculous amount of work, like retelling older stories with the new Elixir uh, Guardian that has risen. Like, not only that, but they would have to add the light subclasses, which they've already stated they want to change the light subclasses into stasis at some point in the future. So, if only the Elixir character had that, people would be getting annoyed. But not only that, um, again, I want to just say this real quick. If they were to do this and they wanted to release it during a time, like say for example they only wanted three darkness subclasses, they could do it during the time when we have another expansion. I think there's meant to be like one expansion between the Witch Queen and Lightfall. So if they were to add this character, that'd be the perfect time. They'd have like a whole year to work on this character. Even if it is actually after Lightfall, it doesn't matter. They'd have that time to actually work on that new character type. And obviously from there as well, you gotta think like, um, well, obviously, there'd be two races. There'd be Elixni and probably Exo, because, like, I don't know, you, you could make the story tie into, like, the Deep Zone Crypt and stuff, and maybe there was some Elixni Exos that were somehow produced in the facility, but, again, interesting to see how that works. Uh, they'd have to add a bunch of light subclasses, so not even just adding the elements. It's just, like, okay, we need, like, brand new subclass ideas. Four new subclasses, and we need to make them all within a year. Like, again, if... This is just to say, if it does come out after Witch Queen, and for the next expansion after that, they would have the time, but again, making Elixir Guardians would be so much work. And then there's the question of, oh well, some of them have four arms, so like, are you going to be a drag, are you going to be a captain, are you going to be like, uh, a vandal? And like, do you use these extra hands, or do you do nothing with them? Can you, like, crawl across the ground or something? Because I think, like, it could be like a class ability where you, like, scatter across the ground. I think that'd be kind of cool. But again, this all, like, comes back to, this is a lot of work. But, if they are thinking of doing this, because obviously we're becoming, like, friends with the people in the house, uh, Light, it's possible. It actually is probably the most probable thing <laughs> of everything I've talked about so far. And I thought I'd just talk about that real quick, because I'm, I'm actually really passionate in that idea of having, like, uh, Elixir Guardians. Now, how would I feel about Cabal Guardians? I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Elixir Guardians would be cooler than Cabal Guardians, but that's just my opinion. Moving on to the next thing, uh, literally just says Old Tower, and let's be fair, like, do we really need them to waste their time to, like, remake the Old Tower? Especially, like, if there's theories that, like, Life Fall is gonna be a thing where we have to abandon the tower, because there is some concept art of, like, the pyramid ships, like, in the tower, and if they're sticking to that concept art and, like, gonna actually, like, flesh that out in game and story, uh, one day, then, you know, <laughs> it'd be kind of pointless, like, making the new tower and only having it be active for a few years. But, the reason the helm exists is not only because of the seasonal thing, but it also exists for this purpose of, hey, this is probably a big spaceship we're going to be building over the next few years. So, obviously, over time, it's going to, like, build up, and then you're going to have, like, a lot of vendors probably start moving into it, which would make sense. And, Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they, like, in the future start closing down parts of the tower and just remove them from the game so that they could add more space into the helm. I think that would be a brilliant idea. Then again, Old Tower, it'd be cool nostalgic, but there'd be no point, especially if the narrative uh, is going to one day have us leave the tower and have to, have to use, like, the helm as our actual new uh, social space. Sure, look at the farm. The farm doesn't exist anymore. They clearly don't want to make too many more social spaces. And now for the final thing play with your guardians now as you, you may know i have three characters and a lot of people actually have three characters some have triple hunters some have all three what if you literally could just go into a game and you're like you know what i just want to play strikes by myself for example so instead of matchmaking you could either play a solo by yourself or you could have the option of summoning your own other two guardians and you could all play together again i think this is one of them ideas that'd be really cool it's just the amount of time and resources they have to put into it, though, might be a bit heavy. Especially because there's not even many, like, NPC kind of moments, like, outside of the seasons. Obviously, the seasons have done well for that. But there's haven't, like, the NPCs haven't really fought for a while. Like, even when they did, they didn't really do much. Except, the, like, your ones in the, uh, the Moon Law sectors. Them guys, like, shred if you leave them alone. So, like, you kind of hope your guardians are like that as well. And obviously, like, they have the be like oh so how does the the main guardian control his other guardians and can you 
tell them go places or do they do things on their own? If they're supercharges, do they use it immediately? Like, you know, there's so much bits to it. Like, it, it, at that point, it would just turn into Halo 5, let's be fair. Like, uh, the multi- or not the multiplayer, the uh, story. And how you can, like, summon different people to different places and do different things. But yeah, again, cool idea. Just don't know if it's worth it. And especially, like, all these things I've mentioned have been, like, basically, like, they can be very heavy in development, potentially. And, like, especially for a new tower idea, for example, or old tower brought back, like, if they have to have, like, new voices for certain vendors that come back, you know, like, that'd be a lot of work as well. But on top of that, they're also, like, making seasons, not just, like, big DLCs, they're making seasons as well, so, like, yeah. Bungie is expanding, but I don't think they're gonna expand enough where they're actually gonna care about this sort of stuff. But you know what? I would literally love to be proved wrong by Bungie. I would love them to just be like, you know what, Joe? Screw you! Here's your Guardian Quarters, your dual wielding, akimbo pistols, whatever, cool exotic, Elixir Guardians, Old Tower, and you can play with your characters now and various activities in the game. I think that would be deadly. And I just thought of it just there last second. Dual wielding two swords would also be, like, pretty badass, not gonna lie. But anyway, Guardians, um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment on some of your thoughts on what I uh, talked about in this video and... What other ideas you'd love to see in Destiny? Honestly, if I could do another video of this, I'll actually, um, you know, if you bring up a valid or cool kind of concept that could be added into Destiny, I might actually, you know, nip your comment and steal it. <laughs> Include it in my next video. But no, at least I'll, like, show the comment. So, like, it's, it's not entirely stealing, but it's still borderline stealing. Don't forget to also subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I thank you, Guardians, again for watching this video.